Good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Caroline Carruthers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update for you. It's Friday morning and we've got a lot going on in the tropics. Of course, we have Hurricane Lee barreling towards New England. We've got Tropical Storm Margo that continues to weaken. We've got a tropical wave that will emerge off the coast of Africa in the coming days. And we have newly formed Tropical Depression 15. So that's where we'll start. Here's a look at it. Max winds at 35 miles per hour. It's moving to the northwest at around 12 miles per hour. This is in this was Invest 97, which we've been tracking for about a week now. It had a high chance for development. This was expected. And here is the latest track of Tropical Depression 15, expected to become a tropical storm later on today before becoming a hurricane moving into the weekend and eventually likely a major hurricane as this heads gradually to the northwest toward Bermuda. Now, all the models have been very consistent really from the beginning of this staying in the Atlantic north of the Caribbean. So this is not a current threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast, but if that changes, we'll of course continue to let you know. Elsewhere, we have Hurricane Lee that we've been tracking, Category 1 hurricane right now, maximums at 80 miles per hour. And the thing with Lee is, Lee is weakening, but it's getting bigger at the same time. So it's weakening in intensity, but it's getting bigger. So its wind field is pretty substantial. So even if, even though the center of circulation is expected to stay well off the east coast of the United States, because the wind field is so expansive, tropical storm conditions are expected for parts of the east coast. This eventually is expected to make land fall in Nova Scotia sometime this weekend. But because again of the size of the system, there are tropical storm warnings in place all the way from Cape Cod up through Portland and um, up to Nor Nova Scotia as well. The Canadian Maritime Province is there. We also have Tropical Storm Margo continuing to weaken. It's just going to kind of loop around over open water. This is not a threat to the United States. We also have a tropical wave that is currently still on the coast of Africa. It's expected to emerge in the coming days here. This has a 20% chance of development in the next seven days. We'll likely see it emerge off the coast of Africa by midweek next week. So a lot going on in the tropics currently. Luckily, no impacts to our stretch of the Gulf Coast, no threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast at this time. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated. But in the meantime, you can head to WKRG.com, click on our hurricane map room that has all of the updated information for you, the graphics, the video, everything you need to know.